Okay, here are a couple of tips to get more calcium in your turtle's diet. Uh, these are my turtle's two main staple foods. And what I do is I take both of these and I'll put them in another container with some powdered calcium and it just sits with it and it gets covered in the powder. And although some of it will come off when it hits the water, some of it will stay on and make it inside of him. Um, obviously, I don't give him all of this at one time. This will last for a while. But this is just another way to get more calcium inside your turtle, which they really need. Another cool product is the ZooMed Aquatic Turtle Banquet Block. Uh, my turtle absolutely loved this thing, so much to the point that I had to take it out of his tank because he wouldn't leave it alone. And apparently your turtle's supposed to eat on it for a few days, and it seemed like my turtle wanted to eat on it in one sitting, eat the whole thing, which actually would be dangerous to his health and he could die because turtles can gorge themselves. Um, so I've cut up the banquet block into a ton of tiny pieces and I'll just give him one you know maybe once a week just to give him a little more calcium um, I try to give him a big piece so he'll have to chew it because I you know obviously you don't want your turtle to choke but this is also another way to get more calcium in your turtle gut loading crickets is a great way to give more calcium to your turtle uh, you have to do this for a couple of days before you give the crickets to your turtle. You do this by feeding your crickets certain foods. Um, I like the Fluker's High Calcium Cricket Diet. And also your crickets have to have water, so they sell these water gels, and these are actually calcium fortified. So that's just two extra ways to give your turtle nutrition through the crickets. Um, and if you're like me and you don't like touching crickets, they do sell, pet stores sell these really long uh, tongs so you don't have to touch them whenever you're getting them out for your turtle. The cuttlefish bone is another way to get calcium into your turtle. Uh, basically, they're really inexpensive. You get a couple of them for like a dollar or two at any pet store. But they float in the water and your turtle is supposed to chew on them and they get calcium. Uh, mine, unfortunately, has never taken to the cuttlefish bone. I've tried to introduce it to him over many years, you know, at different occasions, but he's just, you know, sniffed it and moved on. But maybe you're lucky and maybe your turtle will love the cuttlefish bone. It'll be another way to get more calcium in him. Finally, um, we also like to use these liquid vitamins for our turtle. It's a multivitamin spray. Um, we were doing it uh, pretty frequently, but our vet told us that you should really only do this about once a week. He said that as far as uh, a multivitamin, you can overdo it. However, with calcium, that's different. You can do that all the time, and if your turtle doesn't digest the calcium, it just comes out in, in his waist and it's no big deal. Um, but we usually give our turtle this um, usually on Sundays, whenever we're doing a water exchange, I'll have him in a feeding container and I'm able to spray food and actually feed it to him directly from a spoon so it doesn't get dissolved in the water. So it's a great thing to do once a week. Okay guys, last but not least, if your turtle's getting all this calcium, he needs natural sunlight. My vet recommends 20 minutes of outside time with your turtle a week. 